Hello, beloveds. Thank you for joining me for Can This Heal Me? My name is Unicole Unicron, and it is my honor to have your attention. Today, we're going to talk about something that is really very exciting for me. Okay, we're going to be talking about the Aries devices. What is the Aries devices? And let me tell you, this is going to be kind of an intense video because I have gone hard on this. Okay, I do have one here. Uh, this one's around my neck. This is a smaller one. I've also got a larger one here. They come in lots of different sizes and shapes. Um, so you can see in the picture, it's got like a blue holographic center. We're going to talk about that. You can't see it exactly on the camera, but it's definitely there. And when the light hits it, you might be able to see it sort of shifting around in there. It's a holograph, a holographic. So what is this? Let's talk about it physically. This is an analog microprocessor. I'm going to nerd out so hard on this. This outside edge is actually gold. This is the antenna, and then it brings the signal into the center. We're going to talk about how this works, what it does. It's analog. It has no electricity. Okay, it's just another magic necklace, but this one with a little bit more scientific backing um, than just sacred geometry, okay, than just a shape. It's a shape, um, but it's a nano shape. Let's say there's lots of shapes happening. <laughs> there's many different shapes and materials happening in this magic necklace. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you actually the their website. We're gonna rely on their website a lot because I feel like their website is really freaking good and uh, it's gonna explain a lot of these things for us. Obviously, I'm somebody who's very skeptical. I'm gonna look at all the different sources. Um, this is not something that like, an HR department could fake and you're gonna see what I mean by this. Okay, this is like, deep scientific technical research that they've done and there's certain places where I'm kind of like they're not explaining everything but what's really cool is that they really do offer up quite a few different uh, explanations of what's going on here and why this works so let's go ahead and get into it um, we're just gonna go to their website what it does um, this is just their their main website okay what is Aries it's spelled A-I-R-E-S it's a microprocessor that modulates chaotic electromagnetic radiation, transforming the waves and creating coherent electromagnetic frequency similar to our biological radiation. This is really important, similar to our biological radiation. This is something that I came up with in my research and I'm starting a technology company. I've been thinking so deeply about this. You know, all these devices, they're here to impose more frequency on us. And like in the case of PEMF, it seems like it actually does work at certain times, but as a sensitive person, I can feel my Wi-Fi, I can feel the Bluetooth. When Bluetooth headphones first came on, I could feel them in my head when they're turned on. I still can, I'm just maybe a little bit more acclimated. So for me, my question kept coming back to, how do we know what a detrimental frequency is versus a beneficial frequency? How can we harmonize the frequencies? How can we make sure that our technology is operating from a harmonious way? How can we replace all of the electromagnetic frequency on this planet to be coherent and harmonious? And I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think Aries is onto something, okay? And I think that there's a lot that we can do as individuals to navigate our coherent sense of self. As you create a coherent sense of self, you become a transductor, a transducer of energies, of chaotic energies, and you amplify them in a harmoni harmonious way. Okay, so you become a harmonic generating field that then harmonizes the energy around you. That's very real. Okay, and certain shapes are very magical. The Egyptians knew this. I think we're just, this. a lot of this information has been hidden and we're gonna be realizing more and more how important these symbols and these shapes, logos and sacred geometry, is all very, very, very important. So if you don't understand something, don't worry. I think we're gonna explain it. One of the interesting things about this microprocessor is that it's not blocking radiation, but it's restructuring it to neutralize any physiological impact. I think any physiological impact is like a pretty profound claim. Any electromagnetic radiation waves that pass through the effective range mimic the modulated EMF created by the product. The EMR waves from electronic sources are chaotic, creating an EMF that is inconsistent and incompatible with our own. That, I just, you know, I was just saying that. <laughs> I believe that wholeheartedly. Modulation technology offers a solution to transform the surrounding EMF to a coherent form 
but instead of blocking the EMR, the microprocessors harmonize the entire electromagnetic field, resulting in a neutralized atmosphere that is our ideal for our biology and our electronics to thrive. One of the things you might have seen is like little stickers um, that go on your phone. I think they have one here in this picture, um, little stickers that go on your phone. And this is not the same as some of the other stickers you might have seen. Sometimes they'll create stickers that are just um, sort of metal printed on it, like in a holo hologram. And the shape of that, I think that does do something, but I, I don't think it does as much as this. And I haven't researched those technologies that deeply. Um, it's hard to believe something that's just a sticker would actually work. These devices um, actually have several different components and so we're going to talk about what they are and like how they're working whereas some of the other stickers um, are simply just the metallic shape printed on the paper and like I said I think that does something but when we're talking about the strength of your cell phone we really need to be <laughs> We really need to be honest about the strength of this thing, okay? I've done a lot of research about the effect of cell phone radiation on the body, and you should too, okay? Because when you hold your phone up to your head, it microwaves your freaking brain, and that's a sensationalized way to say it, but the actual temperature of your tissue heats up. It's a microwave technology. It's microwave radiation. That's not not true, okay? That's absolutely true. So if you have something like a, an implant, like uh, a lot of you know I got an implant and I refused to get a titanium implant because titanium implants actually act as antennas for electromagnetic frequency and people who have titanium implants and hold their cell phone up to their head, it actually amplifies the amount of heat that is being produced um, in your body because of the microwave radiation of our devices. So these technologies... Basically, there's a huge, if you look at the electromagnetic spectrum, there's a huge range of microwave frequency technologies. And what we call a microwave is just one part of that, but the entire microwave spectrum, it actually includes cell phone radiation, cell phone towers, 3G, 4G, 5G, etc., cetera, um, as well as many other different technologies that we're utilizing, like, all around us. Okay, so we're living in an energy soup. And when I say that, I mean that. So something like this is really important if it actually works, right? And I think that there's this uh, this really cool part about it. Let's see. I'm going to keep sharing their website. Like I said, I feel like their website really does answer a lot of these questions. Um, okay. I think we covered that. Yes. It doesn't block EMF, so you can't necessarily use an EMF reader. So it's like still giving the same strength of signal, but the signal is now harmonized. If you reduce the strength of the signal, you're actually reducing its effectiveness. So a lot of times people will wear these um, cloaking devices. Like uh, it's actually, I have, I have a lot of the fabric in my house because sometimes I get paranoid and I use it. <laughs> but it's basically like metal fibers that interlock. And if you put your phone behind it, it'll block all the signals and it won't be able to actually, you won't be able to make a call. You can also do something like a Faraday cage. These are technologies that actually stop all electro electromagnetic frequency from entering or leaving. It creates an actual barrier. So the reason why that technology is good is because if you're having an extreme feeling such as paranoia that the government is sending signals into your brain, you can simply put it over your head and that's not going to happen anymore. Um, but then you can't send your signals out to communicate with space aliens. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really important that we're in harmony with our surroundings, with an, electro, an electromagnetic um, harmony. Like, w plants and animals all are emitting. Like, the Earth itself, the Schumann resonance, it's, we're, we're living in an energy soup. We're part of the whole. We're all one. We cannot isolate ourselves from the electromagnetic field and expect to do well. A lot of astronauts experience extremely detrimental effects from being away from the earth and i believe in a big part that's to do with the fact that the earth is sustaining us energetically so you can't simply just block off all the signals which is why this technology is pretty freaking interesting let's keep going it has been tested there's a lot of research i think it's really interesting obviously you can fake this stuff right like i'm not this is not something that is blowing my mind totally because on top of this, like they're advertising heavily, right? Okay, so this is all part of an advertisement. We can see that, we can feel that. Um, but I just wanted to show you, yeah, these brain scans. So this is what really got me interested in EEGs and I did buy an EEG machine because I'm like, I wanna study everything with brain scans. And I talked to my friend who does EEGs 
um, for a living and he analyzed some of the promotional materials. Um, he's a neuroscientist. He analyzed some of the promotional materials and I said, is this real? Because I don't know how to read EEGs. And he said, this could easily be faked. Hard to say if it's true or not, but um, you can sort of get these kinds of responses in the brain by opening and closing your eyes if you have the settings set right, you know. Um, but I don't think that's what happened. So they did show, uh, this is, I, I do believe, I watched some more videos of the neuroscientist who conducted these studies talking about it. And I think he was talking actually specifically about heat. So he was saying that uh, the heat, I think this is like before, yeah, before the operation of a mobile phone, during the operation of a mobile phone, during the operation of a mobile phone with an airy shield as a sticker on his phone. It's a analog microprocessor it's not disrupting the frequency it's actually harmonizing it so this is actually harmonizing the energy and allowing and i think what they were studying is heat like i said that's what he said in the in the thing i'm not a neuroscientist doing my best to catch up uh the youtube videos are very boring i'm doing my best though um so they have an ad and I don't know if we'll see it on here, but they have an ad that like shows these people being like, oh my God, like using their cell phone with it. And it's pretty impressive and it's pretty convincing. And it makes you feel like, wow, if this is real, this is a really big deal because we are living in a system of attack by our technology. And if we can actually have a solution to this, it's a, that would be a really big deal. Okay, so there's all these studies. Like I said, I'm not really impressed by studies. I'm not super into those. But let's look at this stuff. This is what I really, what I really uh, think is interesting. I'm just going to read some of this, okay? Uh, actually, we're just going to look at these pictures. <laughs> let's see. I did find this interesting. Let me see the part that I'm looking for. The method per, I'm just going to read it. The method for protecting biological objects, that's going to be called BO in the future, from negative influence of technogenic electromagnetic radiation, EM, in a wide range of frequencies, which consists of creating around a biological object or between it and the source of the technogenic EM radiation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A coherent transformer is a self-affined lattice resonator formed from ringed topological lines which create a slit like raster and is a universal Fourier transformer that harmonizes the amplitude phase and frequency and polarization vector of the external frequent external technogenic radiation and the BO's own EM radiation. The shape of the resonator's field is a spatial holographic matrix whose multi-level gradation is a set of annular raster lattices that are symmetric with at least three orthogonal so they have this whole <laughs> algorithm to determine how this shape should be cut into the metal in this very small size so there's a little picture some sacred geometry transforming the energy into coherent radiation and protecting the biological object which i think is really interesting the actual center of this device is a hologram and it is based on two physical phenomena, diffraction and interference of EM waves. The physical idea is that under the imposition of several wave pulses under certain conditions, an interference patter, a pattern occurs. And that is spatial regular system of maxima and minima of the intensity of electromagnetic radiation in the form of stationary field and having a fractal self-affined structure. So I think the way that they are trying to explain this is like when you have two um, interfering sound waves, they sort of cancel each other out. And it's actually doing that with the holographic shape in the middle. To obtain a holographic response, the resonator must either itself have the ability to transform the radiation incident on it into a coherent form, or the incident radiation must initially be coherent. So it's actually taking the energy, and these are the images. This is the actual image of the center of the device. And this is the effect on the frequency. And they even define the term Coherence means the absence of conflicts. I love this, okay? The term coherence means the absence of conflicts, consistency, and communication. I think they mean absence of conflicts, uh, <laughs> presence of consistency, and presence of commu communication, of course. Uh, not everyone is as good of a writer as me. That's okay. Thus, coherence means consistency and communication between EM oscillators. 
they've got different pictures, equations, really cool pictures. And they say they've spent millions and millions of dollars on researching this. I want to know who these people are and how they have millions and millions of dollars. And the thing is, is that this technology does, it seems bigger than this. This seems bigger than this, right? Um, <laughs> did we cover what it is? Do you know what it is? There's, another, there's one more picture I want to show you. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I'll put the link in the thing. There's, there's some cool, um, some cool images of like actually how they cut the metal in order to, um, get the, <laughs> the actual shape that, let me see, let me see, let me see. I bet you this is it. It's like saved in my, yeah, <laughs> I've been researching this a little bit. <laughs> So what is the difference between an Aries microprocessor and a traditional microprocessor? This is written kind of funny. <laughs> I love this sentence, actually. Any modern expert understands a processor first as a digital device with a von Neumann architecture, i.e. a device that unambiguously assumes the sequential execution of a program's code. Like, I, okay. Um, that's not... <laughs> I love the way that's written. I just love it. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so... It's actually this metal, the way that I think they're describing it, and they've got this sacred geometry here that's actually calling the energy. I don't know where I read it, but it basically is calling the energy into the center. And as it does so, it's making the energy more and more and more coherent. Yeah, here it is. It's like the central area of the circuit is the most neutral. As a result, a potential difference arises between the periphery and the center. Consequently, a voltage is induced that activates the microprocessor. This is so cool. Thus, the Aries microprocessor has no need for a special energy source. It draws the power from external radiation. A wave impulse striking any part of the circuit is discharged to its center and automatically redistributed through the entire circuit through its slit channels. Consequently, the field's intensity is simultaneously distributed about any radius except at the center, where due to the density of the circuit, it reaches maximum value while its polarization is at a minimum. Owing to the potential difference between the center and the periphery, the charges flow from the periphery to the center. Circular surface waves occur, which also induce derivative superpositions where the slits intersect, the phases shift, and a space-time structure in the form of a hologram is created, which has the same properties. A space-time amplitude frequency coherent transformation of radiation within a broad frequency range and the microprocessor's regular fractal circuitry to induce the transformation. I don't know about you, I put this on. Let me get, let me, let me change the label here. Where was it invented? I don't know. Who are these people? Who are these people? This seem, these should be everywhere. These should be on every building. These should be on every, we should be creating all of our technology with this technology, right? If this is real, if this does what it says it does, then every single bit of our technology should have this design incorporated into the structure of the technology. And probably then we would be living in paradise, right? Am I wrong? Am I missing something? You tell me. You tell me. Healing potential. When I put this thing on you, I tell you, I mean, I was looking forward to it a lot because I did all this research. I was reading, I read everything because I was like, here it is. How do we create harmonious frequencies? How do we prove that frequencies are harmonious on us versus detrimental? And when I got it, I was so excited. I put it on and I did not, I was like, I am never going to take this off because it felt so good. It literally feels so good. And I wore it for like three days straight and I just was really glowing. And then I took it off and I, <laughs> I felt really weird. <laughs> So this is working, I believe, to amplify or to neutralize or harmonize, let's say, the detrimental technogenic frequencies in my area. But I also believe that it's capable of working with my own electromagnetic frequency, my own electromagnetic radiation, and harmonizing the energy that I'm 
interfacing with in general. The way that I see this technology is as a shield. I live in Los Angeles. I love the idea that I can wear this necklace and go into downtown and feel protected. That's how I feel because this marketing materials, these marketing materials work on me. This is if, if all of this is a marketing material, let's say it works. Okay. My house sitter, I've been talking his ear off about all of this, right? And he spent uh, a week and a half with this technology once it arrived. It arrived, I put it in the house and I said, listen, this, uh, this is what, it, what I think it does, et cetera. And then I came back after a week and a half and I said, what did, did you notice anything with this in the house? And he said, you know, I don't know, but every time I came back, I was so happy to be here. I felt so excited to be here. And I thought that was really interesting. <laughs> I thought that was really interesting. So I've been using this in my grids. I'm using it next to my Wi-Fi router. I'm using it all the time. This, I wear it. In the daytime, I hang it up when I sleep. I've got one for my phone coming. I think this healing potential is really great. It has the potential to actually give you a break from all of the energies that are happening. If you want to do more research, read The Invisible Rainbow. If you want to do more research on the effect of electricity on the body, The Invisible Rainbow, I cannot recommend it enough. If you want to do more research on it, you can read The uh, Body Electric, which is a decent book. It outlines the idea that you know, our bodies are electrical energies and they're interfacing with the electrical energies around us. And, you know, do I have skepticism? Yeah. Is this, is this what it is? It, could it possibly be all that we think it is? Like I said, this is a gold, this gold lattice is the golden antenna. And it captures the frequency and brings it down to the center. And in that, in that actual happening, uh, that's how it transmutes the energy in the sacred geometry and creates coherent signal. I don't know. Like it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. And I can't believe that like this, uh, this hasn't, you know, if, if we can do this, then we should be doing it everywhere. Five out of five stars. Absolutely. Skepticism, going back to the skepticism. If you use my link, it will give me money. Yep. Um, that's just how it is. You decide for yourself. You decide for yourself if you think this is something that you need. If you need it, I've got the hookup. I think you, I think I have like 300 coupons for like 20% off or something. If you use my code, my code is Unicall. Um, I get money if you use my code. Uh, that's just how that is. My rating five stars, five freaking stars. I love this technology. I love this idea. I love that this exists. I am here for this. I cannot wait for this to be everywhere. I cannot wait for this to be everywhere, in every school, in every city, on every power line, in every bit of technology, in every cell phone. This should exist naturally, automatically. We should not be creating incoherent frequencies that are disruptive to the biological structure. You need bless. <laughs>